Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. There is an onslaught on society of suicide. It comes from a legion of demons that have been loosed into the atmosphere. Now, you have to be very careful. Watch the thoughts that you entertain in your mind. Watch the feelings that you tend to stew over. Watch those feelings. Because what Satan will do is take one little thing and use it as a catalyst to begin to snowball your emotions. And then you end up with a runaway train flying down the hill, getting bigger and bigger and bigger so that Satan can convince you to end your life. These demons out here are on assignment. The Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee. No matter how bad it is in your life, I don't care who broke up with you. I don't care why. The bottom line is your life does not depend on another human being for you to be fulfilled, for you to be whole, for you to be satisfied. No, that comes from within what God puts in here, not what from man does. Now, of course, we benefit from knowing one another if it's a healthy relationship. But that person cannot breathe for you. That person's heart can't beat for you. Do you hear what I'm saying? Never put so much importance on a person that if they're not there for you, you don't want to live. No. You have a purpose for which you were born. Something very important God placed you here for. But if you put all of your energy and all of your attention and all of your love and all of your hopes and dreams in this one basket called a woman or a man, you're going to be sadly disappointed because people fail us left and right, repeatedly. You have got to have all you need in here. Then you share what you have. You don't look at someone else as if they're your all in all. No. Oh, please don't do that. See, demons work on assignment. And they will come after you. They will come after your children. Some of you have spouses who have killed themselves, have mothers or fathers who have killed themselves, children, and you just can't seem to get it together in your mind how that could have happened. How could that have slipped by you? But you have to ask God to give you discernment. Now, God can warn you ahead of time. He did that with me with a, a, a relative of mine. She was planning her demise. She had children. God made the demon of suicide show up in my living room. I didn't know it. I didn't know what kind of demon it was. I just knew it was a demon. I knew I saw it and it was grinning at me. And it was not a friendly smile. It had me scared. I was only, I was only saved about a month and a half at the time. So I'm praying, I'm rebuking and rebuking, commanding it to leave my house. Then I don't see it anymore. Then that feeling of evil is still permeating the atmosphere. And I'm rebuking and rebuking and rebuking and casting out, rebuking, commanding it never to come back again. Now, what ends up happening is via the Holy Spirit, I get a burden for my sister. And I'm praying and praying, Lord, you know what she's going through. Don't let her do anything to hurt herself. Oh, I'm praying that big time. Tears running down on my knees. Praying for my sister. I pray that God would not allow her. Just would not allow her to follow through. Now, I had no idea it was even going on. 
I'm just praying it in my mind just in case. But the Holy Spirit in his wisdom was using, manipulating, and maneuvering my prayer where it needed to go. And I found out the next morning, at that very hour, 5.30 in the morning, that I saw the demon, the battle began in my house. A voice spoke to her in her house at 5.30 in the morning, telling her to end it so she wouldn't have to hurt anymore. Now, what I want you to think about, I want you to think about how subtle Satan is. He slides, slick, and wicked, and he will take advantage of your sad emotions. He'll take advantage of your disappointments. He'll take advantage of those feelings of unworthiness. He'll take advantage of your neediness, of your emotional scars, of your hurts. He'll take advantage of a crisis and blame guilt, whatever, whether it's blame, whether it's guilt, whatever you're battling with, he'll take advantage of that and rub it in your face to convince you to end it. Don't let him do it. Don't let him do that to you. Whatever you do, you tell suicide to go back to hell where it came from and never come back and bother you again. In the name of Jesus, remember to say that part. God bless you. Oh, you have a reason to live. God knows the plans he has for you. Plans to bless you, not harm you. To give you a hope and an expected end. That's a hope and a future. He's got a calling on your life. He's got purpose for you. You're on assignment from God, but you have to get with him to know what that is. And then life is worth living, you guys. Mm. God bless you.